All right, Hawkins here with uh, Chicken Hawk Farm Show again. And you can see we're back in the shipping container. I got a lot more stuff loaded. Going to go through all those boxes there. Our lighting's good. The weather's good outside the day. So, I don't have to fire up the heater, so that's nice. But, whoops, sorry about that. Uh, but like I said, we're going to get some more of these boxes done. And we'll find out during this video if filming in here is going to be much of a problem. Because with the bare walls... Uh, I'm afraid it might have a lot of echoing. Hope not because there's so much stuff in here, as you can see. And if it is, uh, I might get some real cheap carpet to lay down. And some more of this. Uh, you see it? There it is. This foam board. Maybe it'll help. I don't know. That's an idea. If anybody's got any suggestions for uh, if it is echoey, to keep that from being that bad. Maybe if I talk a little quieter. Or once I get this on my other mic, maybe it'll be a little better. That's why I kind of wanted to do a little bit of both. So, all right. But yeah, you can see we got a bunch of stuff that we need to get listed and sold so we can get some more storage containers and see what's in them. But right now, I want to know what's in all those boxes right there. So we're going to open some now and probably some later tonight. It'll be, it should be all one video. So let's get to it. See what we got. And, uh. See how much more profit we can get out of this, uh, was it $150? We'll call it $150. Painter's Units from Nicholsville. That's kind of what I'm naming it. You gotta name them all, I think. I don't know. Alright, be right back. Well, I would have liked to start out with a little better one, but this is what was on top. So, it'll probably go pretty quick. It's a kitchen box. Uh, see a bunch of donate. Uh, nothing... No, no, that fancy Pyrex or anything. What's this thing? Oh, it's loud as what that is. Yeah. All right. So that was a bus. First one, no good. Try next one. All right. Here might be a fun one. It's called Kids Books on it. So let's check it out. Let's see what we got inside. Wonder if it is Kids Books or if it's something different. Oh no! What is that? Kind of rubbery mat thing. Is that like a uh, some kind of heating blanket thing? Strange. And then, yep, looks like we got kid books. And don't see any good ones. It says fairy tales, handwritten. These hand. Oh, it's an old fairy tale book. But 1960. Not old enough, and quality is a lot. And that's obviously not very good quality. Uh, we down another one? Are we two for two? I don't even think we're going to get... Hopefully we'll get you another $100 or some... Uh, this one? Some, uh, what's this, graphing paper? Something like that. We may use this to keep score of uh, my goods, my passes, and fails. I don't know. Alright, next one. So, two. Down. Try again. All right, this has to be a better box. It's a uh, utility. Yeah, utility room miss. Miss fuel. All right, so we got. Yep, some cords. No fun. They stole their smoke detector from the last place. The new people saw. This is one of those. Uh, it's covered to your light outside. Why would they take that? Oh, they might. Have changed out and all this crap was sitting in the utility room. Right. See a bunch of trash. Alright, well, hold on. We got some figurines now. Let's see if we got anything good in here. I kind of like this one. The only problem is, I'm pretty sure these people are smokers in this older unit. You see, uh, see all the yellowing on the legs of this thing? Yeah. And it might be donate too. Who's this guy? Uh, it don't matter. He's got a little chip on him. Made in China. Uh, I think all these are going to be found. Uh, that's a personal picture. Uh, yeah. Like I said, they kind of almost have like a sticky residue to them. Oh, uh, that's broke. The one piece that was halfway cool. A John Wayne piece there. Hand painted sculpture. Oh, look at that. Limited edition. 
and it's broke. So that's gonna be trash. Uh, little boot, broken pieces on it. So yeah, I'm gonna call this trash. Unless we got something fun in here. And so that piece might be savable. But uh, this is all gonna go to donate. Even these little things. Woo! Sorry for the scream there. Uh, I hope it wasn't too loud. That's a good catch though, isn't it? I mean, this thing is, just looks like something cheap made in China. Well, that one's full of cockroaches. Yeah, another reason I wanted to get uh, into this building and out of that house. Uh, so, right, well, here's another uh, utility room miscellaneous. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see my boots in this. It's uh, nice and uh, muddy outside, so we're wearing our mud boots. A little waterproof, a lot better. All right, so what we got here? We got a bunch of doves. Yeah, maybe. I see they need so much cleaning up. I don't think it's going to be worth the time. I really don't. Uh, seeing that it says Dollar Tree Distribution Keepsakes. Uh, definitely going to say it's not worth the time. This is all Dollar Tree stuff. Uh, let's see. Who else we got in here? Uh, one of these little things. But yeah. They're just so nasty. You can see all the little dirt and stuff, and I really just don't think the it's gonna be worth the time to clean them. There's a couple little bunnies. Yeah. Riding a bike even. Interesting. Uh this thing's really full of just like doves and stuff. Ooh, that was dangerous. Another dove. Alright, see I didn't want to check this one out though. Ooh, that's heavy. Very heavy. And that's another piece made in China. That's so dirty. Yeah. Anybody knows a good way to clean stuff like this? I mean, it's all in the nooks and crannies. So that's got a feeling. I mean, can I dunk it? I don't know. You got anything better in the bottom? Ah, uh, the classic collection of shot glasses. My old Kentucky home train. These look interesting, but I don't have a clue. So that blue glass. Yep, just uh, I don't know. I'm stumped. You know, like I said, a bunch of little shot glasses. Newport Aquariums. I think they're all basic. Yeah, Philadelphia. Yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing. All right, we might be hurting on this uh, for these boxes. It looks like we put this stuff back in the box and uh, grab one more. I think I might title this uh, this video the "Most Boring Unboxing of Storage Auction." Or yeah, storage locker stuff. We have another box of books. So, let's get our fingers crossed. Oh, almost did the wrong way. Away from the sausage. And oh, oh, maybe these are some good books. Some high money books is there such a thing uh the nursing assistant handbook yeah. i was hoping maybe they're they were lying about books being in here night without stars huh is that like a cloudy day yeah it's cloudy outside you don't see them but it doesn't mean they're not there Yep, just a crap load of books. Hey, there's one. I like that one. Hunger Games. Another good author. <laughs> yeah, you like how I'm pretending like I've actually read. I've seen the movie Hunger Games and I listened to the book on audio. So to me it counts as reading it. Ah, yeah, let me know. You think it counts as reading it if you've listened to the book on audio tape? Because it's the same thing. Somebody's just reading it to you. So when I tell people that I've read the book, they look at me funny because they know I can't read very well. There's some more coons. You know these. You know what these would be good for? There's those little uh, libraries around town, like the little. Oh, what are they called? You know where it's just like a little box. Like you drop a book off. You know, I'll drop some of these off in there and see if anybody takes them. That way, uh, they'll give it a little bit of use because I really don't want to throw them away. If they don't go there, we'll put them to. Uh, here's a dictionary. Maybe I need to keep that out. 
But yeah, that way they'll they might have a little bit of use. Alright, let's, let's get another box. We gotta get something interesting. This is getting really boring really fast. Alright, probably just wanted to put this part in. It's another box of books. It's the closest thing to me. So, <laughs> they track it so far is pretty good. When it says books, it's books. Okay, these do look have, like they might have some age on them though. Anything good? Nope. Don't know what that is. Eh. No. The girl who kicked the hornet's nest. Uh, that was a pretty good one, I think. I never. There's this. Ooh, there's a big old Stephen King one. That might be worth a couple bucks. And then what are these old ones? Volume two. What the heck are these things? Yeah. Not a clue. Okay, what about this little handheld book? Ooh, Sherlock Holmes. That's kind of a neat one. Let's see what year this is from. 2017. No. Uh, ooh, 1975. It is in very good shape. It's only 45 years old, though. Get this one out. I like Sherlock Holmes. All right. Oh, that's another bad one. Try again. I tell you, would be nice if we could find another box of stuff. The stuff boxes are always a corner. All right. This one wasn't labeled. Ah, oh, it's a bunch of personal stuff. Enjoy the little things. It's a book of for writing in. This looks like you know, class work stuff. Oh. More stuff in the bottom and more books. I'll tell you what, these people really like to read. Yeah, there's more. I heard these can be worth a little money, but that's if only if they're in good shape. And it's been written in 1987. Yeah, golden books. What we got here? Chicken soup with rice. This is like a little kid's book too. Huh. Never seen that one before. Oh, look at that. Is that a little uh, Indian man? Some Bible? Oh, okay. Then we're getting into something fun. Some little eyes. I guess those are like party favors. Some Despicable Me. Dollar thirty-five. I might be able to get fifty cents for that. What is this? Aftershave slash cologne. Alright. Oh, wow. Some old aftershave cologne in the box. It's empty. So I saved the bottle in the box. That's, you know, that seems very strange. Very strange. And it's for family dollar. Why would you do that? I don't understand. I don't understand. Cat in a hat. <clears throat> Broken little fruit bowl. Wow. I used to always say, well, people don't store stuff that, uh, you know, it's broke. But <clears throat> that's not true. People do store stuff that's broke. <laughs> or brand new and never been opened. Check that out. How old? Is that that old or is it yellowed from being in the smoke? Yeah, 2009. So it shouldn't look like that. Uh, UV sterilizing wand. I'm gonna need this to clean out these storage lockers. So it's like a little wand with the UV light. It's supposed to like kill germs. Sterilizes in 20 seconds. That's pretty cool. And look at some of the stuff. They probably should have used it. Not to be mean, but I am just saying. Alright, now these little cords. I'm gonna try to keep all these because you always find stuff that takes cords and they don't have it. This box was a little bit better. Oh yeah, there's another decent book. Not in bad shape. Books, books, books. Hey. Good for donating. Anything. Hmm. 
making your family life happy. Maybe I should read that thing. Alright. Then the Bible. I think this is the third or fourth Bible we found. Alright. That's it. We're moving on to the next thing. Because that was another box that was not very fun. Really want I got two more boxes over here. Over here. Hopefully one of them is at least a little interesting. I might just have to scrap the whole video. Let me know what you think. Okay. I want to say I promise you uh, this box is going to be better, but I really can't. But it does look like it's got a lot more random stuff in there. So we have some brand new... What are these things called? I always call them RGA cables or whatever. But yeah. We have some brand new cables for hooking up. You know. Ooh, those are some long ones too. Look at that. They picked them up for $44 on sale. That's crazy. Right, what do we got in here? What do we got? A bunch of mail. Yep, just a bunch of mail. Nothing at all. That's gonna be trash. Sorry, I'm gonna kick the camera. Alright. Come on. We got high hopes for this bag. And they just went out the door. Because, uh, what's that stuck to that? What is going on here? Oh, man. They say that you gotta go through everything. Sometimes you don't want to. Yeah, there's a little deer. It's broke. Everything's broke. Oh, there's some candy. And we're definitely not going to try that. I'm not going to pretend that I would. Yeah, I'm good. It's because I'm not hungry. Oh, oh, it's sewing thread. Needles. Hey, there we go. We got some tools. What kind of these? Great neck. Oh, I don't know. We got our tools. We got some thread. We did just say something about silk thread the other day on uh, What the Hell's channel. Something about it being very desirable or I don't know, something. So, <clears throat> we'll check through some of that. Uh, maybe an avid sour. You don't know. That wasn't a needle that stabbed me. Yep, yep, there's some needles right there. I know. Gloves, right? I don't think they would have protected. Ooh, what do we have here? Finally, something cool. I mean, maybe not if you're not a Wildcat fan, but it's still a little die cast. Vroom, vroom, vroom. That's fun. I told my daughter to go to play. Uh, I told her I was going to make her a table so she could go. Uh, like play with her cars and stuff on there and everything. She goes, Daddy, I don't have any cars. I said, what? She says, well, I have one. Maybe I'll give her that. And then she can have two cars. And it's you a case and my wife will approve. All right, what we got here? 1988 Chrysler. Is this the owner's manual or? Oh. Okay. No, that's cool. Old advertising for the old 88 Chrysler. So I guess you go into the showroom to want to check one out. This is a little pamphlet they give you about it. Look at all those. Oh, how cool is that? That was an awesome one. County Country Wagon. Yeah, we might keep this. Might be a... I don't know if Chrysler's very collectible. But we'll see. Alright, that kind of goes along with those plates we found the other day. No markings on this thing. Maybe a good flea market piece. Cool. See, this box is doing a lot better. Uh, candle holder. Not really much. I think that's about it in here. Oh, all we got left is a bunch of these. I don't know what they go through. Buttons. Another little sew kit. Set some of that up. Some more of our thread. I need that. You never know when you might get a hole in your pants and you need to sew it up. 
We got a thread. More buttons and I don't know. There's something there scary. Looks like some big old needles. What we got here? Hey, check that out. I wonder if this is... Uh, I was going to say, is that speaker wire? I don't know. This speaker wire there? Maybe that's the speaker wire that runs to the, the speakers. Oh, now I'm getting it. This. Those screw in here and make like a little oh, shelf thing. Okay. Now I understand. What do we have here? We got a love letter. Nope. It's to the uncle. Huh, that's sweet. Alright. Well, that wasn't the worst box in the world. We got a cool little car in there. We got some thread. And that UV light. We're going to have to check that UV light out in a, a later video. And see... Not, I guess not how it does. If it works, maybe. If it turns on. I don't know. Because it is brand new in the box. Or... I don't know. It might actually sell for something new. Doubt it. Alright. I think that's it for now. Got a few more box boxes I'm going to do uh, later on. We'll add to the end of this video. So. Yeah, because I don't know how long we're running. Alright, well. I know that wasn't a very exciting uh, little video there. Well, I know that wasn't the most exciting video. There was a bunch of uh, just stuff. Uh, a bunch of stuff that's going to go to donate, a bunch of stuff that's going to get trash. But that's kind of part of a storage unit. I mean, if I showed you all just the good stuff, you'd think all the storage units were good and awesome. And there was only good stuff in them. And that's not true. There's a bunch of just crap. There's a bunch of just stuff. Low dollar stuff that you just donate, give away, or throw away. I mean, that's just kind of part of it. But if you don't do it, somebody's going to do it. Or it's just all going to get thrown away and none of the good stuff's going to get saved. So, like I said, that's kind of part of it. It's kind of what I'm learning. I've only bought three or four, so it's not like I'm an expert or anything. But I am learning, and any tips are greatly appreciated. And that's also why I watch some of the other channels with the more experienced people, because they do give you tips and hints and stuff like that, how to profile units every now and then. So that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, maybe I'll leave a link to some of the other channels. Like, uh, definitely started this, you know, watching What the Hells. And then you got uh, Taking a Risk with George. And what's the other one? Uh, Charger Hunting with Jeebus. I really like their channel because they do show a lot of the crap. They don't try to like just show you all the good stuff. And they're, then, you know, they're funny. And then also Grimes Finds. He teaches a lot. And uh, <clears throat> I like how he lots it all up in his sorting method. I'm not quite there yet. That's what I need to work on is my sorting is when I'm going through these boxes. We got our... $10 or less, you know, basically flea market pile. We got our trash pile. And then we got our eBay pile. That kind of thing. So, alright. Well, like I said, stay tuned. Uh, we got more of these videos coming out. I got more boxes from this one. And a lot of other stuff that I'm doing around here. Uh, where I'm either fixing stuff. DIY and stuff. Uh, reselling with the storage units. Uh, I try to do everything in playlists. So you can check those out. But, have a good one. Don't forget to subscribe.